Hey guys, I just wanted to do this short little review slash kind of a warning as I do not buy um, as I fix my hair, which is, forget it, I got a cow look this morning. Oh well, it's going to be a short little review for the iFlavor Universal Mount Clasp, which I think is an odd name for a product. Um, uh, as you can see, it came from Big Lots. It is $5.00. Um, and to be honest, it's not even worth wasting five dollars over. And as you can see in the picture here, um, this is literally the only way that you can display it properly, and it be either straight, uh, vertically, horizontally, whatever, horizontally, or vertically. You can't have it in any other kind of way. Okay. Uh, if you, uh, I'm not sure you can see, but uh, let's see, where's that? This finger. Bottom one says it's shockproof, which if it's mounted to a window, I don't see how it's sh how why it wouldn't be shockproof. And once you see it, I don't see how it's shockproof. Um, and the top one says 360 degree rotating angle. It actually, says 360 rotating angle. That's it. Alrighty. Now here's the actual product. Okay. Fine and dandy. Alrighty, so let's uh let's see the device in action. I'll use my iPad sort of as my windshield because it does not come with a disc that you can like stick to your dashboard and then you put the section clip to the dashboard and it sticks. It does not come with that. So your only options, or your only option, is to stick it to the windshield, anywhere on the windshield, and that's it. Um, so, let's see, I'm going to stick it to my iPad. And the one thing I do like, do like, the one and only thing I like about this suction cup thing here is this little area here. Let me turn on the lights. Maybe I can, yeah, there we go is this little lock mechanism here. Usually it's a kind of you pull up or press down to lock or unlock. But um, with this one I like because you twist it and it pulls the section cup in of course making it stick which and those kind of where you have to lift the little, a little clasp or whatever those tend to either break or lose their tightness I guess you would say in the little area right that would be right here that would cause this to pull up and stay um, stuck to the windshield. I can't tell you how many mornings I've come out to my car and see my uh, window dash mount on the floor or something. Anyway, you just look, turn this and it sticks. Like so. There you have it. It's stuck. No need to lick it like some of No need to look the little sticky pad like some of them. And, okay, so let's just pretend this is your windshield, okay? Most windshields are at about that angle, okay? Let's turn it around. And the problem with this little area right here, and I'll show you in a minute, is you don't get a full, yeah, you get a, a 360 rotating angle, but only like that. And that's it. Okay. Okay, so this is your windshield and this is how you have it mounted, okay? And if you're on an iPhone 5, it says it holds up phone up to 4.1 inches. Well, if you have an iPhone 5, you're SOL. Because your phone ain't fitting that way. Okay. It, this mounting clasp would be fine if would be perfect if you could mount it like this. But you can't. That's not with iPhone 5. You can only mount it. Like this. Now this is perfect if you if you're using it for just um, a GPS display. But let's say uh, you want to use it for maybe in vehicle video 
calling, like FaceTime and like using your car so you don't really have to hold the phone up to your face and you don't feel like you have to yell at your phone for the people to hear you. When you have a FaceTime call, the people can hear you just as fine as they you can hear them. So that would that's why I think FaceTime in the car via this kind of a method, not holding the phone in your hand, is a good idea. But anyways, I'm putting that on my face. But anyways, if you want to display it in a vertical sense, this of course being horizontal for those who don't know, because there's people out there that don't know the difference. Anyways, if you have a stuff like this, where the little mounting bracket curves in or out, depending on your philosophical bend, if you look at it from this way, it's curving out, from this way, it's curving in. But anyways, and I'll show you all the different ways of. So your dashboard, you, your windshield, you need about an added angle like that. Well, the best way to have this display, if you like it like this, would be under your um, rearview mirror. But of course, if you're like me and you don't like having any obstructions in your window, or at least in your peripheral line, which mine is usually right in the area that covers um, below the uh, rearview mirror. So, this actually puts it your phone right in the way. No matter how up close to you, no matter how close to the rearview mirror you put this, your peripheral vision is blocking. You have to like you have to kind of look around it to see if somebody's over on your right or your left, depending on what side of the car you're driving. But anyways, vertically you cannot display it vertically at all in this case. If your dashboard's here or your windshield's there, there's no left or right turning of this. Alright? There's only back and forth. Of course you can rotate it this way. Of course we'll turn it again and again. That's as vertical as it gets. Okay? And you see how out an angle it is? Let me take it off here. If you were to buy the little sticky pad or whatever you want to call it, the little plate that you can stick this on your dashboard and sticks, this is what it looks like. My hand is flat. It's at an angle. There's no way you can get around this angle unless you have, like your dashboard in your car, you have some kind of an angle that's actually straight and flat, then you can stick the suction cup like so, and then have your phone. But like, if you want your phone straight, you pretty much have to have a dashboard that has this angle on the dashboard. Otherwise, your phone is not being displayed in this orientation. It is strictly that, no matter how you look at it, okay? So, if you want your phone like this, it ain't happening, because you're going to get that. That is flat in my hand. I'm at home and at a weird angle. That is just how it is. iFlavor does not have a website. Of course, they're big lot brands, so they're not going to have a website. There's no actually no kind of customer complaint. Nope, there is nothing on here. There's an address, but it just says distributed by. There's no kind to no kind of support website. They make a lot of great iPhone cases, but that's it. Uh, yeah, so. This is not worth the $5, and as a matter of fact, I'm planning on taking my bag and probably exchanging it for a phone case. So, yeah. This thing sucks. Um, so, as far as the, how the next thing looks, you've got this little piece right here that you pull forward, and of course it loosens it. And, and the instructions that come with it, it says that if you like this in place, then you shouldn't be able to move this. Well, Guess what? I'm moving it. It's just hard. A little bit harder to move it. As opposed to... Then you got locked. It doesn't move, really. But anyways, let's see. I don't know if you can see on this camera. But there's the front part that only allows you to go forward. Let's lock this in place. And then you've got... This side, which has a very, very, very small indentation. And then, of course, the back one. 
same little small indentation. So you get, I've always hated these mounts where the where this has the ball on it and this doesn't have the ball because you, this this happens. You get the lack of movement. That is pretty much your movement except for here. Um, the ones where the ball is here and you attach this to it and and this holds the little ball part or the little round part if you if you see it like the grip go dash mount. Um, the way that little hole mechanism the, that's that's the only good part about that dash mount also. But anyways, that is the problem with this case and or this dash mount. If they would have made this part here more flexible or this part moved you would have more freedom of angles. You could actually set this on your car like this and then do this here where you have your phone plugged in and then move this forward and then you got a vertical finger, a vertical display of your phone. But you don't, you get stuck like this and that's all you get. Even if you were to plug it to your windshield. If this moves you still have a good vertical mount. Or since it's this would be a windshield, you could still let's see. Put the two windshield this way or that way, have this move out and still have your phone go display vertically on your windshield. And the problem with this is another problem is that this is too short, okay? I like my phone within short distance. I don't want to have to reach out and feel like it's literally at the end of my finger. You know, like, I don't want to have to be able to move forward and do this number to try to reach my phone. I've got to be able to drive normally. Just be like, do this number and be done. That way I don't have to take my eyes off the road. I can still have my phone here in my peripheral, my driving place here in my, in my straight eye shot, and my peripheral also if I'm looking off to the right or the left and still be able to see everything. I want to have my phone. This phone, this here, you have to literally put it right under your uh, rear view mirror and you look like this the whole time. Or more about like this. Let me see if I can get my hand in. About like this. Okay? Um, so, this having it like, if you see how my arm's being, having it at this angle is better to me than having do this number with your phone, you know, trying to and literally have it at the end of your finger because sometimes Siri doesn't always work and with iOS 8 of course it's better right now so it could not be working Hey Siri doesn't, or OK Siri doesn't always work which is fine of course it's better so it'll probably work better once the final part anyways if you have a Bluetooth headset using this in your car for Directions is perfect, saying, hey, I need directions to such and such. But if you were to, like, send a quick yes, no, okay, as a reply to a message, if you're not the one that uses Siri, then this is also not a deal because the next two shorts, so it doesn't reach out further from your window. And I like to have my logo on my window if it doesn't come with a little suction cup thing or the little plate, whatever you want to call it. I like to have it further down so that I can just be like, and that's the purpose for me. This you have to set it up here. And if you were to put this just on your dashboard with a little plate, you still have to reach all the way out because the phone is so far from you. Anyways, I hope I didn't ramble too much in this video. This is my review slash do not buy warning for this video. Uh, the iFlavor Universal Mounting Clasp. You know. One other thing I just thought of, if you're into that kind of thing, you could use it like a, as a sex toy, you know, like, hope it don't hurt. No, it actually don't hurt. Uh, if you wasted the $5 on it, threw the box of that, and you could have it as a fancy earring, walking down the street, people ask you, oh, where'd you get that earring? And say, girl, I got it, big it's $5. It's supposed to have my phone, but it don't hold shit. But if that's good on my ear, or if you just want to, I don't know, you could use it to hold a drink. Like, yeah, I'll stick it on my window. Boop! There we go, drink holder. 
Or if you need it to stick with people, those pieces of paper together. You got that. It's got other uses, I mean. There you go. But as far as holding your phone and its intended purpose, don't buy it. You know, if you want to use it as a nipple coin, even though that's not where my nipple's located, but just to get a picture in your know, or you want to, I don't know. Just say this at the back of my shirt. You want to hold your thing together and you don't have a hair clip in your girl, well, there you go. And yes, I know that I will get comments below saying, gay, hello, whatever. I don't give a shit. I am gay. It says that cow But anyway, that's my review. That's my opinion of it. And don't buy. Don't waste your $5. If you see something on the rack better, it probably is. Um, the only thing I like is the cigarette lighter kind of mounting and display things. Because in my car, at least, because I drive an 06 Chevy Cobalt, when I take a corner, the display of the little cigarette lighter mounting thing, because it's going to sway with my phone in it back and forth or whatever. So those aren't ideal for me. So yes, rate, comment, subscribe. So, follow me on twitter.com slash DJ uh, You can look me up on Facebook by the same name, but I probably won't uh, friend you because I don't friend strangers. Um, unless we have mutual friends come. Anyways, uh, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for listening to my rambling about a product. And peace out. Try our receipt. It's great.